Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by and uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see future DIYs. So let's go ahead and get started into the first video and then I will explain the rest that's happening in just a little bit. So I'm using this sign from the Dollar Tree from the summer collection. And I'm just gonna cut out the twine, remove the tag from the back, and I'm just gonna use the back. So for this project, I am making a hot chocolate mug. And the first thing I'm gonna do is paint the entire sign using my Waverly chalk paint in white. I do give this two coats and let it completely dry in between each coat. So I'm going with a gingerbread theme for all of my projects. So I'm using this um, gingerbread man to just trace the upper half of his body onto my mug. Now you'll see this project a little later. I have my projects out of order, but anyway. So I trace them and then I'm just gonna use my Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut to paint the body of my gingerbread man and um, paint it onto the mug. Now, while that's drying, what I'm doing is taking some caulking silicone from Dollar Tree and I put it in a piping bag and I'm using it to act as whipped cream on the top of my mug. And then um, I just sort of messily, messily, is that a word messily? It is now. Um, do that all, all across the top, but I leave the straw portion tip hanging out. It's hard to see from my lighting. I'm in a different setup than I normally am. Um, and I didn't have my lights, so I'm using one single light, but I tried to lighten it up as much as possible, but you'll see a closer look up in a little bit. Um, I add a little bit of sparkles to it. And then I have these um, round wooden pieces. They're about an inch and a half big. And I'm just um, painting those with the Waverly chalk paint in white as well, using this handy dandy uh, stamper sponge thing from Dollar Tree and painting those white. So then I just take this marker and color in the, draw in the eyes and the mouth and um, decide to make this a girl. So I'm just drawing on her dress, which is just a couple lines in the neckline. And I decided to paint this in the Waverly chalk paint in crimson.
So I dab my fingers into the paint to give her some blush and it really wasn't showing up much. And then um, I decided just to kind of tap my brush onto her face and wet my finger and smudge it and it worked a lot better. So now I'm going to go ahead and just uh, freehand a bow at the top of her head. Um, just a simple bow in the Crimson Waverly Chalk Pink. painting some of the details such as her eyes and um, adding on uh, eyelashes um, with the detail brush and I wanted this to really look like one of those ceramic um, festive holiday mugs that you find um, that looks like three-dimensional if that makes any sense so I did um, initially go through with the weight Waverly chalk paint and add the little squigglies around the edge, like the rickrack. Um, here, I decided I wanted the handle of the mug to be red, um, but I do go in and end up um, right here. So I guess I'm backtracking here. I'm painting the tip of that straw with some red stripes so it looks like a candy cane is stuck in the hot chocolate. Um, so yeah, um, I added a tongue so it looks like she's enjoying herself. With the hot chocolate and then I just add some detailing around the dress and then um, here I'm taking the round circles that have dried and I'm making them um, look like peppermints So I'm adding the peppermints onto the mug. So using uh, just the Dollar Tree wood glue. That glue actually works pretty well if you've never used it before. Go get you some. And um, just adding some details here and there. So then I decide I want to add um, some three-dimensional to the body of the gingerbread girl itself. So I add... Um, some more of the silicone and pipe it on as the rickrack so that it pops a little more. What you can't see is that I'm actually piping on um, some stripes to the handle and I did add some dots of the silicone to the dress into the bow as well to give a little bit more um, design to her dress so it's not just so plain you enjoyed that first DIY. So let's go ahead and get into what you really want to know. So today I am part of the Friend Friday Hop and I was invited by Heidi Sambol DIY. I love Heidi. She does amazing DIY. So Heidi has compiled a list of amazing DIYers to um, get some of our fun Christmas DIYs together to bring to you. So what you're gonna do is, after you're done watching my video, I have something special I want you to do. 
um, I want you to go into the description box and click and hop on over to my friend. So I'm not gonna tell you who she is, it's a surprise. So once you're done with her video, you're gonna click on the link in the description box and hop on over to there. And once you've done with everybody's, you're gonna end up back here. So today, we have an amazing giveaway for you guys. It's a Cricut Joy. And we also have some vinyl and some mats and some tools that go along with it. It's $250 value. You don't wanna miss this giveaway. The rules are so simple. All you need to do is to make sure that you comment on every single person in the hops video. And all we ask is that you just don't comment, enter me, make sure that your comment stands out. That's all that is required to enter the video or to enter the giveaway. You can do that. I know you can. If you're coming from one of their channels and you don't know who I am, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time to come over and watch my video. And I would love it if you'd come and join our family. So let's go ahead and get back into the DIYs. And don't forget, when you're done with my video, like, comment, and then hop on over to my friend. So for my next project, I have had these wooden house cutouts for the longest time. And I thought it would be so cute to do a garland um, gingerbread house. So I painted all of these using my Waverly chalk paint and hazelnut. So once those were dry, I started drawing on them. I only drew on them like, like two of the houses, I think. And then I just decided to go for it. Um, but I wanted these to look extremely organic as if I was sitting at a kitchen table with my kids and um, piping icing on real cookies. Um, I wanted them to look very authentic, like real cookies. If I'm making any sense at all, <laughs> I hope I am. So that's the goal that I was going here. I didn't want them to look professional. I didn't want them to look like there was a stencil or anything like that. I wanted them to look very hand done by you and your kids and believe me when I say that I achieved that just keep watching <laughs> So once that was done, I went ahead and took my silicone um, caulking and just went over all of the um, painted areas. And this to me is exactly what I was going for. Um, it looks real. It looks like you sat down with your kids and did it. It was not perfect, and it was, but it's perfect for me because this is exactly what I wanted. I've lost the footage of where I put it on to the, the twine, um, but you'll see that at the end in their complete reveal but I absolutely love how this turned out and I did add a little bit of the glitter to make that kind of shine
And for my final project, I have this gingerbread man from last Christmas and um, I'm finally using it. But I thought this was the perfect opportunity since I wanted to do my kitchen in gingerbread men for Christmas this year. I thought, why not? So I'm giving this a coat of my Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut and painting most of the body with that. So I paint his bow tie with the whim, whim, crimson Waverly chalk paint and let that dry because I'm going to buffalo check it. Although I lost some of the footage of me doing um, some of the striping, but I do have a tutorial on how to do a buffalo check. Um, if you want that, it'll be in the description box below. I'm doing the rickrack around his uh, body. And I'm so sorry that I'm out of frame. Like I said, I'm in a different setup and um, completely off my game. As you can see, part of there, I did part of his um, buffalo check um, there. I just have to do the other part yet. Um, I have the tape on where I did the other part. I'm working on the details of his eyes and um, I'm going there now and doing the final part and of course my tape bled because I did not push it down all the way and I just had to touch up his body. No big deal. And I'm mixing up a little bit of white and red. Give them some cheeks. Give them rosy pink cheeks. And um, in the footage here, I forgot to give him a mouth and I kept looking at him going, what is missing from this dude? It was his mouth. And here are my projects all done. I'm so happy with how they turned out. I think they're very um, cute. They're not farmhouse, what I'm used to, but I love how they turned out. They look very whimsical and very charming. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the link and hop on over to the next video to enter the giveaway. Make sure that you comment on everybody's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!